Just came to where my bees are and the sun's out. And there's like five or six turtles out there. You can actually see them way down there. But this is a healthy population of the turtles. I probably came in because this is open. This is kind of like isolated area here that I'm at. Towns over there, not many people come up here. So they probably learn it. This is the exit to where my bee is, is right over there on that corner. So I'm here, and yesterday, let me, uh, on the, so let's see, April 27th, I'm gonna start trying to do dates in my videos. Um, so yesterday it was rainy, so I was planning to do this, but I, had the motivation because what's happened is stick this up here for a moment you know way okay I always got to find ways to there you go that works all right cool well, what I ended up doing is actually making I didn't make this box I adapted this box okay I innovated on this box so I needed a way to carry the bees right um, when I get them and uh, this is an old box that I saved from the bonfire. I don't know if you remember that. One of my videos, I got busted for like stealing garbage. <laughs> you in the States, you see stuff that's going to be burnt. You figure, hey, I'll just grab it. So I was there just, you know, taking advantage of all the stuff that I thought he was going to burn. But uh, it turned out he wasn't going to burn at all. Um, but uh, to show you what I did here, um, one is... I used old screen to put on the bottom here and uh, to keep the bees in. You know, my only concern is um, one, will a mouse eat through this? Probably can. I probably have to replace this with something more heavy duty. Um, and uh, the other thing I could do here is probably cut little holes and make this a queen excluder, right? Uh, like little, allow the bees to get out, but that's something else um, I can deal with. But um, this is so ventilation. I'll show you how it's going to work. Um, I put the uh, sides on here. And you'll also see that um, on this side here, you see that board, there was a weakness there. So I stuck that on there. I use uh, glue. And uh, I'll show you how this works here. In here, as you can see, this is the inside. What I did was I actually... Um, the, uh, the, the, the bee hives sit long here, as I'll show you when I set it up. And this is a deep, so it means is I can take the deep frames, because mine won't take the deep, mine's a shallow. So I just adjusted this, I've got screws in here. This stuff isn't gonna come off anymore. I mean, I've made this pretty chucker block full. I put a little bit more support down in here. Um, and, um, you know, these big old screws in here. This is splitting a little bit, but it's uh, this is in here pretty damn good. So I'm gonna take this out to the hive right now and show you where it's gonna go. And uh, this is the top lid. So, and the way that I kind of fastened it, actually, you know, technically speaking, I can. What I want to do is actually could have put a hinge on the end here, and it should hinge, hinge over, right? So I'll be able to lift it lift it up, drop it, right? So whenever I need a box, let's say if I have a swarm, I need to catch a swarm, this is my swarm capture box. All right, so let's go to where I have the hive and 